So if you've got to travel for video production, what kind of bags do you use to keep your gear safe, to keep your stuff organized? I'm gonna talk about what I use in some of my favorite bags and my travel gear in this video. Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Think Media TV, helping you move further, faster in media. And today, I just wanna go through the gear that I travel with, specifically domestic flights. And uh, anything I talk about in this video, and even stuff I forget, uh, I'll put into the uh, YouTube description and the show notes below. And so check those out at any time during the video. So when I travel, I've gotta bring my camera bodies, DSLRs, lenses, accessories, and a lot of times I also wanna bring uh, some lighting, light stands, tripods, uh, and a monopod, love shooting on a monopod. And then I've gotta bring my clothes, and then I bring a uh, laptop and extra gear and just stuff to travel with in general. So I usually travel with four bags. Southwest is the best. This video isn't sponsored, although I wish it was. And Southwest, if you ever see this, I could use some free flights. But I just love Southwest because bags fly free, and uh, that just means you know more money in my pocket or whatever it is on whatever job that I'm doing. And so I travel with four bags. The first is a Think uh, Tank Airport Security 2.0, and we'll go into that. The second is a Studio Pro, and I just shot a video on this bag, super cool, really big, but this is where the tripods and light stands go now, and I'll put a YouTube card up, and you could check out details about this bag. Uh, I, I have an old Walmart, I already unpacked it and put some stuff, we're on a, a shoot right now in San Diego. This is where I put my clothes in. The lowest quality bag is the bag for the clothes, but don't cheap out for the gear. And then I have an airport think tank urban disguise that I've got a video editing laptop, uh, Toshiba, and this is what I bring on the plane. And so, uh, when I travel, I check the Studio Pro, because it's a lighter bag, with even the tripods and stuff, I keep it under 50 pounds, and then I check actually my clothes bag, and if it's a longer trip, I just size this up. But uh, this is a short trip, so then I just check that. And then I put the laptop bag under the seat, and this bag is insane. Uh, the amount of stuff you could fit in here and still get it uh, to fit oh, under no. the seat is pretty amazing. And uh, slide that guy under the seat. And then the, the Think Tank Airport Security is the largest bag that they have that meets uh, the TSA requirements to fit in the overhead bends. And so I use uh, this and then I can keep camera bodies, lenses with me uh, on the flight. So let's just quickly get into uh, what's in the bags. So I'll just give a quick overview and at some point I'll go in more depth with what's in my bag But for this trip, this is what we have um, in this front pocket. I always put all of our um, 60 D and 60 batteries. Hey Cali kid. I got one of your batteries. That's John Mediana everybody check him out uh, and uh, Keep those in there and then I keep Double uh, A's triple A's nine volts in this side pocket and then in the main uh compartment here. I just threw some stuff in just for this trip. Uh, not necessarily everything I roll with. Um, a couple extra pieces and whatnot. Uh, I travel with the G7X, but I keep a S120 as a backup in case the G7X goes down for just extra vlog footage or uh, photos and things like that. And then I uh, got the Rode mic, and we're actually using that right now. Got all the lens filters and adapters for lens filters cool stuff like ND filters and a fader ND and stuff like that. Got our filters for our LED lights. Um, I use the cheap ones. If you've never seen my video, uh, it's, it's on the best and cheapest lighting. I'll link it up. Super light and cheap lighting system. That's great for taking on the road. I've got that stuff in here. John's shooting with the 60D right now. So I've got the 60D body, an 11 to 16 uh, uh, Tokina lens. That's what you're seeing this on right now. But then I'll go with our mic setup, so we do a lot of interview stuff. Got a couple of the um, mics and the receivers, rather the transmitters for those mics in there. Uh, this is a 6D, couple lenses, the 30 millimeter 1.4 on the road with us. Got the 17 to 50 Tamron. Uh, both of these are crop sensor lenses, so they'll work on the uh, 60D, um, got a crop sensor fisheye, the Sigma 10 millimeter for cool artistic shots. And then um, 
got an 85 uh, 1.4 manual Rokinon lens. Cool lens that we'll use for portraits or for video. I've got a video out on that. I love it uh, because it's super cheap for how good it is and how fast it is, 1.4. And then the 51.2 bread and butter, usually roll with that on the 6D for just the killer combination for interviews and things like that. And then got the 70 to 200 Sigma with image stabilization. Uh, this is an absolutely awesome lens. And so this was actually one of the most recent additions, game changer for events. With that too many events, not able to get close enough shots or just different shots, good for city stuff, which is in LA, trying to shoot sh shots of the city and all kinds of different composure lengths. It's really nice to have a long lens like that. And then pretty much lastly, like we'll throw little pieces and parts so we can gear up the top of cameras. Um, up here, backup Zoom H1, just for usually an audio backup we do to back up audio, tape it to a chair or something. So there's always a backup, another piece. And then lastly in here is gonna be a Zoom H4N and then the wireless lapel mics, transmitters and receivers. And then that is also what works with um, the handheld mic. So for audio, we're pretty much set no matter what in any situation no matter what it is. So this makes for a pretty killer on the road setup. And the whole thing is portable. It's with me the whole time. There's a lot of gear in here. And so it doesn't leave my side. I've had a few times they've said uh, that bag is too big. They've still said it's too big. And then they check it, but they check it right at the gate. And so, you know, hopefully nobody gets their hands on it there. All right, next is the Think Tank Urban Disguise. This bag has been treating me nice for years. Uh, I've been, I need to stitch this up again. It's definitely seen some road wear. A lot of times I'll put an iPad right in here. I didn't bring it this trip, but this is a great pocket. This is how I roll through the, uh, the airport or wherever I gotta go. And this right here is like your think tank empire. And so I love uh, having that. Great place for business cards. Uh, the fact that this bag fits such a large laptop is awesome. Uh, I've got that in there. And then it depends uh, what I will travel with in here. Headphones that will monitor audio with later, but just listen to the iPod, you know, sleeping mask. Boombotics Bluetooth speaker so we can have music when we're in the room later. G7X battery, external hard drive. Um, always roll up the G7X in there. I don't know where it is, somewhere else in the, in the room now. Book for reading on the plane. Secrets Leaders Key. And then there's just great pockets. There's pockets in here. These are very adjustable and you can put camera bodies and lenses. Sometimes I just roll with this, throw different things in there. Oh, there's the G7X. So this is the run and gun. You don't have to get anything else. You've got something with you to shoot video clips, photos. As you know, the Canon G7X, awesome camera. And then there's a whole other section that I actually don't even really get into that often. But in here, I'll put pens for just writing scripts and getting stuff done, like a lint roller. So you can do all your content shooting with all the gear and then build out a workstation with laptop. And I love to travel with a uh, mouse pad and a mouse uh, headphones so that you can be editing right on the road and get whatever you need done. I'm not gonna show you my clothes bag because who cares, uh, but the Studio Pro, here's what I'll throw in here. Now, one of the things that I do because of the Studio Pro, and again, I'll link up the, the whole video to a review of this bag, but one of the reasons why I bring everything is because I need the bag to be full. The bag is kind of too big to have stuff just rattling around. And so uh, I bring kind of a lot of stuff. It's a little overkill on this trip. And then I pack the whole bag with stuffing because it's not really a hard case meant for, you know, what we're using it for. But anyways, getting the stuffing out first. Uh, this bag right here is gonna be the LED lights. As uh, we talk about these newer 160s, these are great because um, you can, uh, I buy extra batteries for these and you've got your LED lights, extra batteries for those. And then light stands for that LED light setup. Uh, this trip we're gonna do some photos. So I brought flash that we may use, the 580EX2 and a diffuser. I know John brought some stuff too. Uh, but I just kind of threw that stuff in there. 
I like just having this bag to just throw extra stuff as I'm packing at home. And I was like, I, you know, gotta bring your charger, gotta bring whatever. And then we travel with two main tripods. I love this Manfrotto. It's one of the ones that, one of the most important things besides a video head, ball where you can level out the, the uh, shot no matter what length the legs are. I love those. And so uh, I forget what model this is. I mean, it's this is the five, I, I don't know. I'll put it on the screen or something. So I got a tripod, got another Manfrotto. One of the biggest things that I love is these quick release system for Manfrotto. And I'll put that on the screen and I'll link these up. These are across everything. And so literally they're on the 70 to 200 so that lens can just sit on a tripod on every body. If I'm working with somebody else, uh, John's working with me, I'll put, you can put these on his cameras. And so everything is quickly interchangeable, rapid release system from tripod to monopod. And uh, it's really cool. Extra monopod, lighting stand. It's like a treasure chest of stuffing. Always got to roll with a gorilla pod because you never know what is going to happen. One time I connected this to the head of a giant stuffed giraffe and it actually made like a really cool lighting stand because we didn't have any lighting stands. And when you don't, you gotta use a draft. And then the famous, uh, well-known uh, Manfrotto monopod video, uh, monopod. Love this guy, shoot a lot on that. And then lastly, a lot of times I'll throw in, this is like tools, like pieces that you can extend, you know, hot shoes, cold shoes, think flashlights. And that's about it. And then repacking this is a lot of fun because of all the stuffing, but the stuffing does kind of keep the bag intact. It keeps everything protected for this being in checked baggage. Hey, so thanks so much for checking out this video. Make sure to subscribe to Think Media TV for more uh, video reviews, tech reviews, tips, tricks, everything to do with this kind of stuff. And uh, let me know what uh, you thought about this video. What do you, do you use any of this stuff? What do you like to travel with? Do you have any questions? I'd love to connect with you in the comments. And if you have any video ideas or things you'd like to see maybe specifically even turn into its own video, let me know down there. Make sure to hit the like button if you appreciated this video and then check out show notes and links in the description below. Anything I forgot, extra thoughts, um, details about this stuff will be in the YouTube description. Thanks again for checking out this video and uh, look forward to connecting on the next one. Until then, keep crushing it, keep smashing it, and we will talk soon. I got batteries, got a lot of batteries, got a lot of people trying to What is this?